Welcome to Megasquirt Training Part 39. In this video, we're going to check out using our Megalog Viewer HD data logging software to do further data analysis over our standardized Megalog Viewer software. We're going to find we have a histogram feature that we can use to populate to take a look at our EGO correction or create a custom channel called Air Fuel Air that's going to be exposing the difference between our target air fuel and our actual air fuel. We can overlay that on top of our fuel table and then tune our fuel table very, very quickly and efficiently if we have a long data log that's 10 or 20 minutes long. So I'm going to be walking you through all the details in this video. So let's jump in so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Megalog Viewer HD software in conjunction with our Tuner Studio software to further analyze and tune our main VE table. Now, up to this point into the training course, we've went in and we've worked with our Megalog Viewer software, so we're understanding and comfortable with uh, navigating this, opening up our data logs, and working with the general functionality of this software. Now, what we're gonna find here, if we go to the top, under the histogram table generator or into the scatter plots, these are gonna be grayed out right now. I have installed onto this particular laptop right now as I'm doing my uh, filming process, I have a Megalog Viewer MS Lite. The MS Lite is going to be limiting how long of a data log you can open and start to analyze and work with the features. And we're going to find things like our scatter plots and the histogram are going to be missing. We actually can't even go in and open them and work with them until we have the purchased registered version that we can get of this software. Now, I'm going to be showing you an alternative to purchasing this specific or registering this specific software, this free version. We have another version called Megalog Viewer HD. It's going to be able to use on both the Megasquirt applications as well as many other standalones and tuning softwares. Now, in a lot of the other training courses in our school here, I've been introducing uh, specific videos of working with the Megalog Viewer, so looking at AM or Haltech or many other systems we can work with that Megalog Viewer HD software and repurpose it and not be stuck with this specific software that's going to be used just for tuning with Megasquirt. So I'd recommend if you're going to be going with a paid or purchased version of our Megalog software that you're going to go and purchase the Megalog Viewer. Now we know we can get that uh, through efianalytics.com. If we jump in here, uh, we're going to find it's going to be the site that we purchase it from. You'd have to follow the links here through the Megalog Viewer, click on that, and look specifically for the Megalog Viewer HD software. So. If I jump into my Megalog Viewer HD software, I've purchased it, I've installed it on the laptop here. That was about a $40 purchase. I believe the registered version of the Megalog Viewer standard software here is $30. So it's $10 more. Um, it is well worth the small cost difference between them because this is gonna have more applications that you can use it with rather than being tied down to just using it with Megasquirt in here. So let's go and um, open this up and take a look at this. So what I have here, in my Megalog Viewer, uh, the ability to open up our data logs just as we find in our non-Megalog Viewer HD software. So the standard version versus the HD version. So what I'm gonna do is go to File, go to Open. I'm gonna open up that file that I'm working with in the non-HD version. So we can find this is gonna be that specific file. Let's click Open here. Now when we open it up, the functionality is going to be virtually identical between these two. So going in here and working with our different graph views, we can go and build different graph views. Going in here and bringing in our calibration file that's gonna be tied to this data log, we're able to use VE Analyze, we're able to do all of the same functionality. Now the HD software does have a lot more things that we can accomplish with it. Um, and if we're looking at other, again, other kinds of uh, data logs from other systems, we're able to implement and work with those data logs here and analyze those further. But the key thing here, that I'm going to be introducing in this video is going to be working with our histogram feature. Our histogram can take a look at our data here in a different manner. Now this specific data log I have open here is nearly 20 minutes long. We'll find that analyzing the data through this is going to be a time-consuming process. Working with the VE Analyze takes a look at your EG. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.